Hello my little love bunnies, it's Andrea and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you find this video entertaining or valuable in any way. Today's video is going to be something a lot different than what I do on my channel normally. I don't know. I just been I've been going back and forth struggling with if I should even post spiritual stuff on my channel even though it's something that I am passionate about. You know, a lot of people, they don't like this type of stuff. They don't like hearing about it. They don't like talking about it. Most people are just worried about a lot of surface level things. Um, they don't really dive in deep to um, think about anything. They just go off of what, you know, is popular on the internet. They love drama. They love, you know, celebrities. They love handbags that they'll probably never afford. And like I said, I've just been struggling with this idea. Um, should I keep it surface level? Should I just try to dumb it down, dumb myself down? Uh, for the entertainment of other people is that going to get me popular or what you know but I've actually had a couple tarot readings these past couple weeks basically told me that like I really do need to um, like find my people people that are on the same wavelength as me at the same frequency as me they were saying that's where my fulfillment will come from so I bit the bullet I'm doing this video for you guys and I don't want to hear any negativity in the comments if you're if you're a Christian if you're Muslim I don't care if you don't believe in this stuff this is what I believe in these are my beliefs I don't come on here bashing Christians or or Catholics or any religion at all so so I don't want to hear anybody telling me that I'm demonic or I need um you know prayer or anything don't pray for me because i'm not putting hoodoo or voodoo on you so don't you know hoodoo voodoo me anybody like that you're just gonna be automatically blocked no second chances nothing no back and forth just automatically blocked now that we got that out of the way this video is going to be about how to meditate or how i meditate in order to receive messages um, from the universe or God the creator and yes I did say God because just because I don't follow organized religion or a diet cult doesn't mean that I don't believe in a higher power I did grow up in a religious household and part of Islam we did have like this uh, banner that was written in Arabic of all the names of God and the creator is one of them so everything all the religions were where it's all the same God you know what I mean? So even if I don't follow religion, I still follow God, the universe, our creator, things like that. So like I said, if you're a religious person, a fanatic, a diet cult followist, <laughs> this is not the channel for you, but I mean, you can watch, but don't comment anything negative, okay? I just wanna go over like how I came into even meditating or you know opening up myself to the universe from a young age i just always felt like i had um something special about me something that um would attract things um i've attracted people i've attracted money um cars that i've had uh, just just something about me about the, my wants and my needs would just pull these things towards me right in the nick of time also early on i did start to think about the brain um and how the brain works i did remember seeing a commercial back when i was probably like 11 or 12 somewhere between 10 and 12 and the commercial said that humans only use like a very small percentage of, of their brain and i'm like humans are so intelligent there has to be you know more to our brains and just this small percentage that keeps us breathing and functioning normally that's when i started to think about the brain and what other things that the brain could do this was around the time that harry potter was really popular and i just started to think what if we could do those things then out of nowhere my mom she told me about a story about her her grandma being psychic um, basically just knowing things before they happen that was kind of like my introduction on like the metaphysical things that are outside of you know basic human understanding I guess and to be honest I do believe that uh, more people know about this than we're letting on it's just the masses are asleep so it doesn't really make sense to to try to bring it to people that are brainwashed by religion are brainwashed by um you know they're against science or anything neurological basically all this is is energy you can't deny energy it's science <laughs> so for anybody that will call this evil are is science evil is energy 
evil i don't know it just it just doesn't make sense to me like all it is is energy that you can tap into i know that was a long intro so if you're here thank you so much for sticking around for that now let's jump into how to meditate in order to connect to the universe receive messages and open up maybe some psychic abilities that you may have number one definitely have to decalcify your pineal gland. The pineal gland is an organ in the brain that regulates a lot of functions in your body, such as your circadian rhythm, which regulates your sleep cycle. It releases melatonin, which also has to do with sleep. The pineal gland is also called your third eye. Imagine it right here in the middle of your forehead. The third eye is a chakra that will need to be opened up in order for you to see. See, get it? third eye you need to see with your third eye in order to receive these messages in order to tune in to that frequency basically so some ways that i decided to decalcify my pineal gland was to eliminate fluoride in my diet fluoride is one of the things that will calcify your pineal gland so you want to avoid that if you can you can look up online if fluoride is being put into your tap water I stopped drinking tap water about six years ago. I try to avoid tap water as much as I can. I don't cook with tap water. I don't brush my teeth with tap water. Um, I don't drink tap water. Now, if I do go out to a restaurant, since it's been so many years, I don't see the problem in maybe taking a couple sips of water there. And of course, their food is probably cooked with tap water, so I don't really mind that. It's just the majority, like 99% of the time, I do not drink tap water or anything with fluoride in it. Fluoride is also in toothpaste. I watched a documentary when I was 18 years old and the story behind fluoride and how it became popular as a dentist tool to prevent decay in your teeth, it really stuck with me. It was kind of scary to say the least. So after I watched that documentary, um, I kind of changed my perspective on a lot of things. But I do want to say that fluoride is really good for preventing decay in your teeth. I'm not a dentist. Like, I don't want to, like, dissuade you. But if you can, every once in a while, switch over to fluoride-free toothpaste and avoid drinking tap water that has fluoride in it, I would suggest doing those things to decalcify your pineal gland. So number two is to trust yourself. Trust your intuition. So that little voice in the back of your head that tells you not to go on that date with that guy, you should probably listen to it because if not, that date could end up really bad. I remember one day it had rained. I was leaving my apartment. So as I was leaving my apartment and going down the stairs, I wanted to go a certain way that I normally take but something in the back of my head said go a different way and I was like why would I go a different way when I could just go the same way that I always do of course I didn't listen I went the way that I normally did and there was it was totally blocked off by water I couldn't walk through at all so I ended up having to go back the other way I personally did not know that it had flooded over there so in that instance my intuition took over your intuition is basically yourself, your higher self. Listening to your intuition or your inner voice will only strengthen your ability to receive messages while meditating. And that leads us into number three, which is practice unguided meditation. I know there are a lot of videos online that show you how to meditate. They guide you and tell you to breathe and visualize yourself on a beach. When I say meditation, I don't mean just focusing on your breath. I mean blocking out every single thought that comes into your mind. This may seem really hard to do if you're just starting out and trust me, it was hard for me too, but you really do have to focus and try not to think about anything. You want to be open to any messages or frequencies that come your way. So when you sit down, try to clear your mind. If you do happen to entertain a thought and you just find yourself thinking about something, Try to refocus, catch yourself, and then go back to just releasing all thoughts. There was a time where I couldn't get this down, and then it became second nature to me, and I was able to do it for an hour and a half straight. And I also found myself blocking negative thoughts as soon as they would come in. Mastering basic meditation is really going to help you as well. One thing that really worked for me and one thing that I'm going to recommend to you guys is to meditate in pure darkness. At night, 
curtains closed, no nightlight. <laughs> and the reason I say meditate at night is because there are certain energies that only appear in pure darkness that, and that sounds so bad, like please, darkness is not evil. Just because I say darkness doesn't mean that I'm saying, um, you know, demons and monsters, that's not what it is. Uh, it's just a different type of energy than we're used to. Does that make sense? While you're meditating, you're in the dark, your mind is clear, I want you guys to visualize your third eye or your pineal gland open. What I used to do while meditating was visualize this part of my head as a white circle. Visualizing this space will also help you decalcify your pineal gland. Eventually you'll start to feel a tingle in the center of your head. That's when you know that your third eye is opening. The next step is while you are meditating, you're doing this basic meditation, you're clearing your mind, you're focusing on your third eye, all of that. You really do need to keep an open mind for anything that may come. One of the things that really worked for me was focusing on the darkness behind my eyes. I know that kind of sounds strange, but I just basically saw the back of my eyelids, I guess, as a screen. And while I was doing that, messages would come to me, visions would come to me. This is something that happens to me when I meditate and it happens more than once. So it's not a fluke. I'll just share one thing with you guys. And um, yeah, I'll just share a little anecdote. When I was meditating like super duper heavy, like every single day trying to get um, like messages or like tune into my, my psychic abilities, there was a time where I was focusing on, the, like I said, the darkness behind my eyes while meditating. This was a time where I did not have TV. All I had was Instagram and Netflix. <laughs> and I would just meditate all the time because I really wanted to like cleanse myself and things like that, right? While I was meditating, I envisioned a woman. She was very pale, she had blonde hair, and she was wearing like this black and blue um, like outfit, this sparkly dress. This was in 2015, so if I get any details wrong, like I apologize. The vision wasn't like clear. I couldn't see exactly who this woman was. After that vision, I didn't think anything of it. I just went to sleep and carried on with my night. The next morning, like everyone else does, I checked Instagram. And apparently, like I said, I didn't have TV. I didn't. I don't pay attention to celebrities like that. Um, apparently, there was some award show the night before while I was meditating, and I happened to scroll past a photo of Lady Gaga and what she wore that night. And that was exactly what I saw in my vision. It made sense. She was pale. She had blonde hair. Her dress was the same color that I saw in the uh, vision. And that's just one example. This has happened to me so many times. Whether you believe me or not, that's your tussle. It's not my job to try to convince you. A part of keeping your mind open for visions and messages is also paying attention to your dreams. Once you're opening your third eye in order to receive messages, they're going to be coming in like a flood. So if you start having out of the ordinary dreams, I would recommend that you go ahead and research that. Look up whatever you saw and then put dream interpretation or just put whatever you saw and then see what comes up. I'll give you guys another example. There was a dream that I had. Um, this was around the time that I was listening to um, binaural beats and also um, listening to the sounds of different planets. One night I saw Jupiter and that storm, the eye that Jupiter has, that, that storm that's been going on since the beginning of time, I guess, I saw that part and there were planets, like b different planets, like baby planets popping out of that storm, out of that eye. So I thought that was strange and I went ahead and looked it up and there are people that believe that planets are born from that eye on Jupiter. So you just never know what your dream could mean or what the universe is trying to tell you. So pay attention to any dreams that you have that don't seem normal. So the next step is to work on your energy. This includes the chakras. The chakras are the root, the sacral, the solar plexus, the heart, the throat, the third eye, and your crown chakra. Your third eye chakra is of course one of the main chakras that you want to work on as far as balancing the energy and opening. 
but you do want to pay attention to your crown chakra as well your crown chakra is basically like a spiritual antenna that's how most of your messages are coming to you while you're trying to balance your chakras i would recommend visualizing yourself in the ether and when i say ether i just mean like outer space so you just want to make sure that your antenna is working visualize kind of like a pole or, or a tether or a rope from the top of your head where your crown chakra is all the way up to your higher self in the universe as you're visualizing yourself as your higher self in the universe just practice like sending yourself messages visualize a flow of knowledge coming from your higher self down to your crown chakra here on 3d earth okay okay each chakra is responsible for different energies, so I recommend going ahead and researching each chakra and what they represent. At different times where I was meditating, I would feel the energy from that particular chakra. Um, it just felt out of balance. It, it felt like it hurt in that area. So pay attention to your body because it will tell you when you need to work on a certain chakra. Another way to do energy work is to basically visualize yourself as part of everything around you. Every single thing contains energy. It can be manipulated. It cannot be destroyed. It will be transferred in some type of way. You can transfer your energy to other things and people as well as other things and people being able to transfer your their energy to you. So while you're doing this meditation, I want you guys to try to visualize the border of your body kind of like dissipating and becoming one with the energy in the room around you and i know this sounds strange but if you really focus you can kind of feel like tiny tingles on your body you'll feel kind of like a weight is just being lifted off of you like your body is kind of just floating i don't really know how to explain it but it just feels like there's like a border like a wall that outlines your body but when you're visualizing yourself as one with all the energy in the room, that wall, it just kind of disappears and you don't feel it anymore. So that's a really good way to get your energy aligned with the universe and everything around you. All of the things that I've told you, I've done without number six. There are different type of meditation boosters that you can use, but the one that I personally use that I'm not recommending is Mary Jane. That's something that I use when I feel stuck or I really need clarity. It does help me focus on what I want to meditate on. I'm not encouraging anybody to do it. It's just what I do, what works for me. So now that you have all of those together, you're trusting your intuition, you decalcified your pineal gland, you're working on your chakras and balancing them, you're practicing meditating in the dark, you're clearing your mind from all thoughts, and you're visualizing yourself as the energy around you, you should start to feel something. You should start to feel like you're getting messages, feel like you're getting solutions to problems. Every time you meditate, you don't always have to have a goal. You don't always have to have a question or a problem that needs answers. You can just do this and see what happens. I'm not saying that it's going to happen every single time because it doesn't happen every single time for me. But when it does, you really should pay attention. And basically, in the beginning, when I started out, the visions that I would see, they weren't really significant as far as like where my life should go. It was basically just to test me, to see if I was going to trust myself and trust the universe with the messages that I was receiving. I don't care about Lady Gaga, but that was basically the universe showing me like, hey, this is real, you know? This is not for fake, this is not a coincidence. Hopefully this was informative. I felt like it was all over the place because I'm a little bit nervous. I didn't really know if you guys would receive this well or if I was able to articulate properly what I mean. But if you guys did find value in this, um, then go ahead and leave a like. And don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know if you guys have ever tried to meditate and has it worked for you? Or were you able to tap into the universe, tap into the collective? and receive messages and increase your psychic abilities i want to know let's chat about it so i'll see you guys in the next video okay bye